Banner Lovers, Jordan Lumen here with Banner Lover TV and today I'm coming at you with a kind of a different video. Um, <clears throat> I decided to uh, show you guys one of my creations in Minecraft. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I kind of want to show my ants anyway because they're I think they're going to help me build my house. Um, so anyway, let's get into that. Now, um, before we continue, I just want to let you know that uh, Minecraft is a game where you have like pixel blocks and you just, and you basically just build anything. You can build anything in there. Um, and yeah, it can be very crude, but um, this world is very open, so you can get really detailed if you go big enough. Um, anyway, so to continue here, uh, this is my property. The line here you see with the trees on it is the uh, is the outside border of my <laughs> Ginger's going crazy and running around the house. I think she found a toy. Anyway, <clears throat> so this border here is the border around my entire farm, and. Um, now you'll see several like dark lines and things like that, but that's from me measuring out um, half acres. And then there's a 20 foot perimeter around the entire farm that is also a, that also amounts to a half acre. So um, this whole thing is built on about two acres and I've measured out each block is one foot. So, um, so yeah, so that way you guys can get kind of a, a better uh, idea of what the scale is here. So this is my little house and it's my version of a tiny home. And um, I really love the concept of the tiny home and I can totally get on board with most of it except the bathrooms. I just do not like the bathrooms <laughs> um, <clears throat> for many reasons. But anyway, this is the front door to my home. Of course, it won't be all glass or or have like holes in it or anything like that. But this will give you guys an idea of kind of how currently I'm thinking about building my home and my farm. So um, when you walk in and to the right, you have a closet and it's a three by three closet. Um, or is it a three by four? It's a three by four closet. and. Um, this closet, I, the blocks weren't small enough to make it a wall here and also shelves, but I want shelving both in the closet and next to the bed. Um, this is, this would be my bed. It's a queen size bed. There's a little bed for my little builder guy whose perspective you're seeing everything from to sleep in. Um, and then a window above my bed, the shelves here. And you'll notice um, throughout the house, there's this shelf that goes around the entire top line of the home um, and that is for ginger and uh, for any other future kitties that I have so that they have a high up place to enjoy. Now this little portion of my home is um, a 15, a 15 feet by 25 feet and um, so yeah. Um, now to the left you see my living room which will have like a little love seat couch I'm probably more like a futon, so in case I have guests over, they have some place to sleep. And then I've got um, a coffee table, an end table, and here is my fireplace. I love a large fireplace because that's what I grew up with in my grandmother's house. Um, <clears throat> both of my grandmother's houses, they both had huge fireplaces, and I love that. So I would love to have a large fireplace as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Now these little black blocks here are, um, it's supposed to represent where the TV goes. So um, if I do have a TV, that's where it'll go. Um, <clears throat> moving on here, uh, you have the kitchen area. I've got, you know, a stove and a range and counter space, uh, cabinet space below, shelving space above, um, a very large sink. Um, with a, a window um, out to look at some of the paddocks. Um, my refrigerator here and then this table here will be an eating space as well as extra countertop space. And now I have made sure that there is a, 
what is it? Is it three or four? It's four. It's a four foot clearance in between um, in, in the walking area in between here. So there's adequate space um, and and yeah. So anyway, um, <clears throat> now to the right here. Now of course in the home there would be a door. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness, I keep coughing today. Okay, so. You walk through the door and this is the bathroom. Now, um, I, like I said before, in tiny homes, I do not like the bathrooms. I need space in my bathroom. I need it to be a retreat um, or want it to be a retreat, one or the other, the way you want, whatever, however you want to look at it. I think I need a retreat. I also need a place where I can test out certain bath products and things like that because I do make soap and um, I'm starting to create spa items for my soap business. Um, now here would be the vanity and then over here, this is cabinet and storage space, but in one of these cabinet storage spaces, there would be um, a washer and dryer. I would have a very large tub, very large tub, um, with a walk-in shower space. And then just for fun, I put in a fireplace. Um, I don't know if I'd actually do that in real life, but I thought it would be a fun concept to see um, and kind of imagine about. Um, now this bathroom is a uh, 10 by 15. Um, so very comfortable space. And it's a, it doubles as a hallway as well as a bathroom. Now your toilet over here is a private room all on, all on its own <clears throat> so that it doesn't block the flow of the home. And then of course there would be another door here going into what would be my soap room, which is another 15 by 25 space. Um, to the right, you would have uh, the office area. This is where the computer would be and I'd have files and um, records and all that kind of stuff here. Um, We'll go out into the courtyard here in a minute, but uh, I'm showing the soap room. So, um, so there'd be a huge industrial sink here, lots of uh, cabinet space below, shelving space above, and plenty of countertop space to work on and to 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 store on. And then um, over here, um, I have an additional workspace, and this would actually be over here, like the shipping. And packaging area and it would also be storage for um, for all of the soaps that are packaged up and ready to be shipped out for when orders need to be filled um, <laughs> I did have the ability to put in what I think would be a whiteboard here um, to organize and keep track of everything um, now we'll go out the uh, into the little courtyard area. I'd have like a little mini French door set going out to this little courtyard area for meditation, um, for inspiration, um, just a nice outdoor area to enjoy that would be quiet. Um, and, uh, you know, a thinking space. I'd probably even have a water feature here at some point. So um, <clears throat> now we're gonna go back in through the soap room. And I haven't quite finished like building the stuff that I want to build on this property, as you see, because I've got all the measurements still mapped out. Um, but uh, there would be a door here that would lead out to, I think would be a carport, so that I would have a dry area to go in and out of uh, my home um, via a carport and so that I didn't get packages wet and all that kind of stuff. I think the sun is setting in the game. Yeah, it's setting. So um, we're gonna go take a nap and then I'll show you the rest of the farm. All right, so I'm back in here and then you can't have daylight all the time. So I'm oh, I'll only sleep at night. Okay, so I have to wait for the sun to set a little bit for me to take a nap here. Um, but in essence, I think this is kind of what um, what I would like my home to be. I don't need a very large space to live in. And um, I, you know, and I think this would be efficient. So we're sleeping now. All right, now we have plenty of daylight so I can show you the rest. <clears throat> All right, so uh, <laughs> going out of the kitchen area here, 
Um, I would have, a, a, these would be definitely French doors going out to a patio. And uh, over on your right would be the outdoor kitchen uh, with a grill over here. And um, also on this patio, I would have a fire pit uh, and a place for people to warm their toes and not good, some good seating. Um, now, this would be a real life representation of how far away uh, the folding stall would be from my home. I want it to be close and um, it's literally 20 feet away from the patio. So you walk about 20 feet and I think I would have either an overhang here for some storage or an overhang here for some storage. Um, now I took, I'm gonna zoom up for a little bit before I show you everything, but this design here uh, is something that I completely stole from Mary Beth Kerwin Weary. She runs Banner Central and also owns Magic in Motion Banners. Um, she has a folding stall up front and then she has like a little paddock area that's about 40 by 60. And then she has stalls lined up on the other side of the paddock. So there's this small small paddock here and I love that. I love that idea. Now her stalls are also, she's in Florida, so her stalls are also very open and airy and breezy. And um, that's something that I would really enjoy having here in Texas as well. So now let's go and uh, talk about the folding stall a little bit. <clears throat> let's go down a little bit. Okay, so the walls around the folding stall are four foot and um, this entire area, don't mind the miniature horse here, um, <laughs> this whole area is a 15 by 15 um, and it works very well, uh, as a size that works very well as a folding stall. So out through the folding stall you have the little paddock area that we talked about earlier and then you have four 12 by 12 stalls here. So you have uh, one, two, three, and four. And then here on the end is a 10 by 12 wash rack. Um, so, uh, so I really want a wash rack that's accessible and close to the horses that's also covered. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then you go through one of the stalls and actually if you go through all of the stalls, they open up to a half acre paddock that is 120 feet by 200 feet, which is a good size paddock for them to run around and get exercise that they need and all that kind of good stuff. And if we go over here, um, and then I have a 20 foot space in between uh, this paddock and the next paddock. And then we have a second paddock over here um, that is also 150 by 200, um, which is adequate space for um, exercise and running around and whatnot. And, uh, when I'm not using this as a paddock, I can also use it as a riding arena <coughs> or a driving arena, you know, a training arena, an area. So, um, so yeah. Now, I want uh, many animals on my farm. I don't want just horses. Um, I've considered raising a hog for my own pork. Um, I definitely want to raise chickens so that I have eggs. And I also want goats so that I have milk. Plus goats are just adorable and cute and I love having them around. Um, you know, and uh, various other animals. I want, you know, a mule or a donkey and I want dogs and maybe even a pet pig. So um, <laughs> I want all kinds of animals. Um, and I also want bees and stuff like that too. So over here in between the house and the other paddock would be where I would kind of make that barnyard for the other animals, um, as well as maybe have a garden and things like that so that I could grow some of my own food. And I think that would work very well. And I know I, I was kind of eager to show this off before it was finished, but um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour of this house um, or this barn, farm, home area. <laughs> this is um, the, this is my current version of what I think I would build if I could build a, a home right now. And, um, and that's also, that's something that I'm working towards. So anyway, 
thank you guys for watching and maybe I'll show you some of my other barns and uh, farm areas or farms that I've built in um, in Minecraft um, and, and other games. So um, yeah, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And when you like, comment, and subscribe, you help me make my dreams come true. I will have some more videos coming for you guys this weekend. Um, oh, this is a house that my niece was building and I've been tearing it down so that I can build a forest over here and around my property. But anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, so anyways, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. You guys have a great day. Bye.